reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You, you heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father, and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. After reading today's Gospel, I am reminded of my experience when I was still younger, like SMP, SMP, uh, junior high school, uh, age 14, 15. I remember that during summer months, April and May, I ended up normally as caretakers of my younger brothers and sisters. During school days, we usually have house helper. But now I just realized <laughs> uh, my parents would have thought of economizing by uh, having no house helper anyhow one of the kids or one of the children already uh, good enough can take care of the younger brothers and sisters. And that would be me. Because my brother would usually help in the restaurant cooking. cooking. So I'm not into cooking, only eating. <laughs> but I uh, took care of my younger brothers and sisters. During daytime, when there's light, and we feel all safe. We enjoy a lot. Because, yeah, I'm the eldest among them. Then I took care of them. But we ended up playing together. Uh, playing together. So the house is so topsy-turvy. So disorderly. But we were happy because we were having fun. But when it is already night time, around 6 o'clock, when everybody is already tired, exhausted, cranky, so we stop, uh, the youngest, the one still crawling, we start crying, so hungry, tired, exhausted. Then that's the time that I would feel uh, disturbed by what I see and the surroundings because it's becoming dark. Yeah, I notice now the light, the bulb, two bulbs only, one is flickering on and off. So I would look far away waiting for someone to come and that someone is my mother so when i looked away uh, carrying the one who's still <laughs> already crying then holding uh, onto the hands of another and uh, calling the others to keep quiet then my mother would come in just five minutes the things are in order <laughs> and what i really felt is peace at peace. I am at peace and back to my, to my normal self. I'm not anymore intimidated, afraid because of the presence of my mother. Ah. This is the kind of peace that our Lord is giving us. It's not a peace of that, uh, the absence of activity, the absence of noise, of disturbances, of chaos. No. Things may be chaotic, but as long as we are happy, we feel safe, then we are at peace. During daytime, there was so much uh, this topsy turviness or uh, there is so much uh, uh, disorderness, disorderliness. <laughs> but we were happy. When do I, did I feel uh, disturbed, afraid, when it was already dark? And then I noticed that I was alone with my uh, siblings and I'm supposed to be the one in charge. 
Then when somebody comes, ah, my mother, whom I knew was very uh, capable of putting order to everything, and she brought with her food, then we were happy again, happy. Now this is only the presence of my mother. How much more the presence of God in our lives. That's why if we are one with God, if we are united with Him, whatever the circumstances are, we will always be at peace. That is why they said that the best sleeping tablet or pill is a good conscience, a conscience that knows we are one with God, that we are not separated from Him. But when we have a troubled conscience, when we know that we have done something wrong or we are away apart from God, then we are not at peace. Even if there is so much uh, plenty, abundance, so much food, we may be very yeah, wealthy, but if there is no joy, there is no uh, security rooted in God's presence, in our life, then we will not be at peace. So the invitation today for all of us is to receive the peace of God. And we can only have it if we are united with Him. Once we are united with God, whatever the circumstances are in our lives, there may be problems, trouble, yes, we will be disturbed, but not to the core, because deep within we know we have a security, we have foundation, we have stability, we have God. Amen.